high school sign painter script coming up. I'm gonna do pure image. Again, we're working the white. The style lettering is gonna be be very reliant on how well you control the airbrush. Whether it be uh, you know how 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 steady you are, um, how much diversity you have with lettering, um, how consistent you are on your line control, and how consistent you are on how you can make the uh, the quality of the line consistent all the way through. So if there's a lot of factors in this, I, I'll go over all these factors on the DVD coming up. But this is just a very, uh, a very, very, I guess, intro to what's what's coming. So stay tuned. I call this lettering style at the bottom here dagger. But we're gonna do dagger style with a. Uh, with the outline. So it's kind of a graffiti twist off of kind of an oriental style, twist off of a uh, calligraphy style font. It's a little bit of uh, inspiration from a variety of, of styles, but it's again, it's just, at this point, it's all about control and, and flow, and it's all about the art of the line about what you do with that line, what your next move is going to be. That's what it's pretty much all about. So definitely take your time when doing this lettering, um, or your own lettering for that matter. A lot of directions to go with this. We're just basically doing a white fill with a uh, black outline. All the little details matter on this guy, so make sure you're, you're on point when you're doing this. Because every little movement is going to mean a lot at the end of the process. It took me uh, years to, to develop this kind of control, and I've, I've been doing this since uh, 1994. Uh, short background, I started airbrushing in a local shop down the street from my house. I had a, two very talented artists work there. I was 15 years old, junior high. I bothered these guys day and night. I'd go there and watch them. Eventually, I worked my way behind the counter. I got to know him, and that was my first job as an airbrush artist. It was at this shop in uh, in Phoenix, at the Desert Sky Mall. Uh, worked there all through high school, and eventually, two years out of high school, I had my own business here at the Arizona Mills Mall. Uh, we've been uh, lucky here. We've had two shops here. Um, we've been in here since uh, 2001 now, so going on quite a quite a while. But again, we're staying true on in terms of this lettering. We're staying very true to our begin our original outline, but we're also making small little adjustments in, as we uh, as we go through this piece and kind of figure out what we want to keep and what we don't want to keep. But it's very critical that as you're going through these through these lines that or this foundation that you give yourself that you make the right decisions, you sharpen up the right edges and so forth. Because that like I said everything matters. It's a very very demanding 
technically it's a very demanding style, not only artistically, but uh, technically it's very demanding because you're, you're as one, I, I get to see where I was at at every point in time, at every single line, how steady I was, how creative I was, every little line shows a point in time, it's kind of a track record of history of, of uh, what choice I made at that very moment as I was doing the style of lettering. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this off with some key uh, key pinstripes, just to kind of give it a, give it a final touch. I have a pack valve on here. My badger, very, very solid, uh, solid product made by Badger. Works extremely well. And you don't have to do these little outlines. I'm just kind of doing it just to kind of edge it off. And the uh, drop shadow can be however you want it. Again, this new DVD coming out, guys, it's going to be jam-packed, full of information on lettering, different styles, different ways to decorate the lettering, and, and so forth. So it's all based on how well you put the foundation on as far as uh, what direction pertain to what direction you need to go, you can go to next. So uh, there you go, let me go ahead and finish it off with my signature. Again, this is all going to be on the DVD, the curriculum on how to on how to get to where I'm at with the control, with the strokes, with the ability of being one with the airbrush. That way, you can do any technique you want, not just one technique, but any technique. The ability to have full control over the airbrush. Praise God. God bless you all. Thanks for your support. Stay tuned. I got more coming, guys.